What size is that? 21. What year is this? 14. 2014 Cam Camry? Yep. 2014 Camry. Got to take these two uh, bolts out, one here and then one down there. The rotors look good. 14 millimeter. Is that a Harbor Freight tool you're using? <laughs> Are you gonna grease the pins? Nope. Not as long as they move freely. I always like those clips. Pretty even. And about two millimeters left. These are just the, the shim slide, the brake pad slide. Do you replace them? Um, only if the kit comes with new ones. They, typically they don't, factory ones don't. Well, it depends on what factory you work for. None of, none of the hardware kind of, like you get, you'll get more hardware from an aftermarket brake pad kit set. <laughs> like, like a, Decent grade. What are you looking at? Where the squealer is? Yeah, the squealer always is on the leading side of the pad. So the first, the rotation is this way, it's going to be on the spot that it would hit first. A lot of people like to put grease on, on these uh, slides. I don't. I think, like. Right here. Yeah. I don't like to. You know, I've never had a problem with them before. Um, I've seen dudes load the back the back up with grease. Yeah, they put the back, put it on the backing plate. The they, when I was at the aftermarket shop, the guys like to put the that red glue because it holds the like it will bind the pad to the caliper and the piston. I don't like that either, but I mean. You know what, the way I look at it, I look at the way it came from the factory, right? So you look at this pad. Where is that even yeah, going to yeah. so touch? If you put grease all on that, it's just these two little spots that touch, right? And that spot right there, those are all. So, so if you have these metal slides that are in there already, they're going to give a smoother surface to move on than you putting grease in there, it's going to get all kicked up with brake dust and end up be being all gummy anyways. So these are dry, look at it. I mean, that's that's from the factory. There's no crazy grease or anything on there. I don't assume to know more than the factory. Now this, though, the factory does send... See this black stuff? Mm-hmm. So I don't know what exactly it is, but they... What the chemical is? Like a grease or whatever? But they send little packets of that in their brake kit, brake pad boxes. And I always reapply that if I'm using the factory pads. But these ones, I don't think these will fit on these aftermarket pads. Well, the shim's already there. Yeah, but look, these ones are better. See, this is a two-part shim. And I had actually had a Mazda. I was chasing a... Um, brake noise on a squeak where it had some when somebody replaced the brakes before I did they replaced the brakes and left off one of the shims and it was a two-part shim and uh and that thing squeaked every time I took it for a ride and I was trying to find the squeak I resurfaced the brand new pads I resurfaced the rotors I took everything off and re-cleaned it and when I put it back together, I did it like three times and it still squeaked and I was like, damn, what the heck? So I ordered a hardware kit, got the hardware kit and I was like, oh man, it's got a second shim in there that's missing. And because of that second shim missing, 
This freaking brake squeak. See this this shim I just took off of that factory pad or that uh, market. market pad. See, this is one piece, right? This right here. Oh. Well, these are Toyota. Maybe it doesn't come apart. But on the Mazda ones, this black part will come apart from the other shim. But either way, these shims, it looks better. So, let's do that. Let's do that sucker back in there. So this is the front brakes we're working on right now. We're gonna be doing the rear brakes in a minute. Yeah, those are cool. Make sure. What do you, what do you call those? Springs? Uh, pad springs? springs, yeah. And they just pull the pads away from the the rotor. And I think they also. Um, oh, I gotta depress the piston first. I think they also keep tension up against the back side of the caliper, also. What are you doing here, Dennis? Press the piston into the caliper so that I can fit back over the new brake pads. These tools are great, but I mean, we can, on the other side, I'll show, show you how to do it without this. Like, I, you can use a screwdriver, you can use a pair of channel lock pliers. Whatever you got, but I just can use a C clamp. You can use a C clamp. I mean, the most important thing is that these. So it's important that these pins here have they move freely. Um, you can take them out and clean them off and put new grease if you want but um uh, this is my own car i i don't find it necessary but if i'm working on a customer's car i always do that it's just part of a brake job i take them out clean them put new grease on put them back in make sure they they move freely these ones move freely i don't know this one too do you turn the rotors at the dealership yep Turn the rotors or replace the rotors just depending on the condition and the thickness of the rotors. This is the first brake job this car's ever had, so I'm confident that the brake the rotors are still thick enough. Fifty six thousand miles? Yeah. But uh it hasn't gone to metal, so it's not like they're super grooved or anything. So they should be fine. Uh, but also resurfacing in the rotors helps for the, the new pad to mate to the, the rotor. Um, but yeah, it works either way. Nothing. 14 millimeter bolt. Yeah, I gotta get a um, a wrench or something to hold that because it will turn. Is it moving? It turns with the bolt, so you hold that so you can tighten that securely. What size is it? 17. So, let's hold this. Don't mind my ghetto tools. These are just, I don't keep. Don't good, be embarrassed, dude. I don't keep, we know this is all you can afford. I don't keep good tools at home. I don't do work at home typically, unless I have to. Unless it's your wife's car? You know, my wife says I have to, so. Actually, I'm only doing this for John. Otherwise, I would have taken this to work <laughs> and done it on a lift. <laughs> Air tools. Ain't nobody got time for this. Ain't nobody got time for that. What's the torque spec on that? It's about good and tight. Yeah, that's that's about it. So to get this rotor off for you guys out in YouTube land, then it just says hit that with a hammer. I've seen where guys have yeah. to come in here with a screw and yeah, you screw can, them down to you pop can it get off. Yeah, you a bolt in there that's the right thread pitch, but I mean, 
random randomly most people aren't going to just have the random bolt that's going to fit in there um so if not it's going to be really careful i've i've done a lot of these so i am pretty i got a pretty good aim with my hammer just hit the rotor here turn it hit it there turn it and just keep it in the same make it so you hit your hammer in the same spot every time just turn the rotor don't move your hammer just boom turn it boom turn it usually i'll get it off after two or three hits sometimes if they're really corroded it might take a little bit more but this rotor is nice and thick yeah they're not bad they're no scarring no grooves gonna do the job but it's pretty low right now all the way down to right there you can see it better on this side if you look at this Ding. side so that it's above the minimum mark so if you guys start checking your brake fluid and it's down that low um check your brakes just don't fill up the <clears throat> reservoir with brake fluid don't fill up the brake reservoir unless you have a brake fluid leak what's the torque spec on the lug nuts dennis I don't know. I use my impact. It's, it doesn't kill them. Usually go around one. And then I go. And that's usually about 95 to 105 foot pounds of torque. Do that again? No. <laughs> You make fun of my sound effects, you're not going to get them anymore. <laughs> oh, no, don't, don't cry. Dennis. The reason we're doing these brakes is because they went <laughs> when I oh. make right turns. <laughs> <laughs> when I <make> right turn. <laughs> and we got squeaky brakes, and your wife has to go pick your kids up at school. It's embarrassing. So. Yeah, but look at that. Well, what we, that's I, what we took off. I also had them. And this is what it should look like. I also had the vehicle up in the air last week when I did the oil change on it. And I got the brakes and didn't have the time to get the brake pads and do them at work. So. All right, guys, that's how you do a brake job on a 2014 Toyota Camry.